Hi all, in this video I am going to give you a quick introduction to AWS ELB. ELB stands for Elastic Load Balancer. As the name indicates, basically it's a load balancer which automatically distributes incoming application traffic across multiple EC2 instances in the cloud. It gives you greater level of fault tolerance for your application and load balancing capacity that is needed to distribute the application traffic. Let's look at a deployment diagram with ELB. The end user or other application talks only to the ELB. The ELB will redirect the traffic to the least loaded instance here. If you need additional capacity, say due to some special occasion, you can simply add additional EC2 instance behind the ELB and stop them once you are done. This is called horizontal scaling or scaling out your application. Using AWS auto scaling feature, this can be made automatic as well based on certain rules you specify. Another point to note is that in case if an EC2 instance fail, ELB will automatically stop sending traffic to those instances. Okay, now let's go and set up an ELB. The first step is to log into AWS console and start required number of EC2 instances. If you don't know how to do this, I would recommend you to watch my previous video. So here I have set up two web server instances. Both are Apache web servers with public IP address. Let's open the home page. This is the home page for from instance one. It just prints a message saying that the request is processed by instance one. And this is the another one, second one. It just says that the request is processed by instance two. Now let us set up a ELB with these two instances. Go to load balancers here. Click create load balancer. Select the same VPC where the instance is running. And since ours is a web server, the load balancer protocol should be HTTP. Click next. Sorry, I have to specify a name here. Click next. I'm just selecting an existing security group which is same as the instant security group. So you can just ignore this warning. This is an important page where we configure the health check for your instances. So here we specify a file and ELD will look for this file in each instance to see whether the instance is up and running. And here you can specify different timeout levels. Response timeout is the time to wait when receiving a response from health check. So let's keep it 5 and the interval amount of time between health checks let us keep it a low value for time being and unhealthy threshold number of consecutive health checks failures before declaring any C towards un unhealthy let's keep it 2 and healthy threshold is just opposite of this. So with this setup click next add both the web servers into the load balancer click next just give a name which is optional just review this and click create so load balancer is getting created okay our ELB is up and running now we will get a public DNS click instances here just to see whether ELB has detected our instances so it is showing in service normally it will take some time now let's try this ELB accessing our ELB in a browser yeah so you are contacting the ELB and the request is getting processed by instance one let us refresh this as you can see now now the request is getting processed by instance two so as you can see the request to the same URL is getting processed by different instance every time you make a request. Now let's go and terminate one of the instance. Go to in EC2 instances. I am just terminating my web server one here. My web server is getting terminated. Let's go back to the load balancer to see what is the health status for the instances 
now it is saying that only one instance is available now let's try accessing the ELP see as you can see that the request will be processed by instance 2 every time you make a request to the ELP so this shows that even if one of the instance fail the request to your application will be served by the remaining instances that's it from me thank you for watching please let me know if you have any comments